Peter Van Dyke, president of our Alumni Board of Associates, will offer greetings from the Alumni Association. They, they always put a box down here and I'm not a stand on a box kind of guy. <laughs> but on, on behalf of the entire Sarah Lawrence alumni community, it, it's really an honor to, to officially welcome you all to the fold. You, you know, when you speak on behalf of 14,000 some odd people, including some very odd people, you got to be a little careful. I mean, what could I possibly tell you that, that all of us could get behind? So to hash it out, the 14,000 of us got together at Yoko's last week. <laughs> those, those apartments at the Dakota, they can really handle a, a crowd. And, and we asked ourselves, well, what do we wish we had known on the day that, that we were sitting in those chairs? Uh, okay, technically, Barbara Walters asked us. You'll find she tends to ask the bulk of the questions at these things. Fair warning, give a little thought to what kind of tree you'd like to be. That one can be a stumper. I, I was so hoping you'd get that one. Those of you, you know, explain it to your neighbor if you did. Uh, anyhow, as you can imagine, there wasn't a whole lot we could reach unanimous agreement upon. In fact, we spent the first four or five hours debating whether I should officially welcome you to our traditional alumni community, the technically correct, though patriarchal, alumni community, <laughs> or the, the vaguely Hawaiian-sounding alumni community. <laughs> so if you imagine Don Ho singing it, you know, alumni, alumni. If you don't know that one, you should learn it. Yoko's leading us in a sing-along next time. <laughs> It's uh, likely to be an inventive interpretation of the term. <laughs> Anyhow, things got a little a little heated there, but, but Rahm Emanuel stepped in and restored order. <laughs> that guy can really bang a gavel. You know, and he keeps saying dead man, it's, it's disconcerting. <laughs> Anyhow, so, so order was restored and, and the ideas started flowing, as tends to happen when these Sarah Lawrence people get together, right? So, so here it is. The top three pieces of advice, the, the keys to the kingdom, if you will, the, the collective wisdom of your fellow alumni <laughs> on, on this, the day of your ascension into our glorious ranks. Well, we wish we had known, number one, take care of your teeth. That was followed closely by take care of your knees, your hips, and assorted other body parts. And you'll need them all, and they're very expensive to replace. Uh, number two, and this one varies a little bit by year of graduation. Um, there's a common theme, and that's when you're done here today, get together with a dozen or so of your best friends and, and rent yourself a one-bedroom apartment. And, Here's where the chronological part kicks in. Um, those of you who came a little ahead of me would suggest Greenwich Village. They remind you to bring your bongo drums and your berets and say hi to Bob Dylan if you see him. Uh, those closer to my era would suggest that East Village is close as possible to the Ukrainian bars where the vodka is cheap, if there's any left. You know, and I guess from there it rolled on down to the Lower East Side and out to Hoboken and all over Brooklyn and up up to Harlem, and then, uh, oh, hey, it, it looks like the next place is right back here in Yonkers. <laughs> you guys can just walk your stuff over there. Right? So uh, third, and, third and finally, and this varies a little bit by, by uh, chosen profession, um, the hundreds and hundreds of Sarah Lawrence alumni who went on to have very successful careers in publishing, uh, want you to know that it's really rough in publishing these days. <laughs> Uh, the senior partners at, at major law firms uh, say it's pretty tough to become a, a partner at a law firm. And, um, a similar dynamic would seem to apply in, um, in finance and, and medicine and education and government service and advertising and, and marketing and, and hang on a second. Uh, here, uh, everything else. Um, <laughs> All right, so here's some good news, right? We did all agree, we all agree 
that every one of you is extremely likely to succeed at someone else's profession, <laughs> where apparently the going is much easier these days. So anyhow, all, all kidding aside, I think if, there might actually be one thing we would all agree on, and, and that's that all of you are probably way more ready for this transition than you might think you are right now. You're, you're smart and creative and resourceful people, and, and know that because you wouldn't be sitting there if you weren't. Now, you've developed skills here that I promise you will prove useful to you for many years to come in both your personal and your professional lives if, and only if, you get out there and you put them to work. That you apply them with passion and persistence and tenacity that whatever your vision of a successful life is, go after it with all your heart and using all the resources at your disposal, most importantly each other and your broader network. So stay connected, stay connected to your other and, and to your school and stay positive, stay confident. You have no reason to back down. You've received an extraordinary education. Now, now go build yourself an amazing life. With that, my fellow alumni, until we meet again.